It is a pleasure that you are with me again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Why dog food is important. Let's start. Many of the most common signs of ill health are now so widespread that many see them as a natural part of being a dog, like wagging their tails or sniffing other dogs' butts. Very smelly poop, oily smelly fur, rapid plaque buildup, occasional vomiting, watery eyes, obesity, itchiness, recurrent ear problems, hyperactivity, paw chewing, recurrent anal gland problems, constant shedding, bad breath, etc. Together these problems affect a large proportion of our dogs, but most are never given due attention. Worse yet, if these early warning signs are left unchecked, problems can get much worse. 1. Diet and Health Food is essential for good health in both dogs and humans. Through the diet your dog must obtain everything that his body needs, from the necessary energy to the incredible variety of nutrients that make up each tissue and keep each cellular process going. Too much or too little of any of those nutrients can quickly cause discomfort, and if something gets into your dog's diet that shouldn't be there, trouble won't be far away. From winning to old age, it is diet more than any other factor that will determine the quality and length of your dog's life. We all instinctively know what dogs should eat, lots of delicious meat and bones. Anyone who has a dog also knows that dogs enjoy all kinds of natural foods like fruits, vegetables, herbs, etc. Most of us now also know what foods are not good for our health, too much salt, sugar, or fat, artificial additives, etc., all of which can be just as bad for our dogs as they are for us. Despite all this, if you look at just about any well-known brand of dog food, you'll find an ingredient list chock full of unhealthy ingredients and almost free of anything resembling the natural diet. 2. Profit before pets. But why would companies make inferior products? The answer is, of course, money. Good ingredients like meat, whole fruits, and vegetables cost a lot, so cheaper ingredients and fillers are substituted. But these ingredients aren't helpful to the dog or tasty, so manufacturers add cheap protein supplements in vitamin and mineral mixes to make up for the lack of nutrients and sugars, salts, and fats. Artificial colors can also be added to make it attractive to the owner and chemical preservatives are added to give it the incredibly long shelf life. The end result is a product intended first to sell and second to keep the dog alive. Dogs need an adequate supply of protein to survive and the protein must come from meat, but plant sources like corn protein, pea protein, and soy are much cheaper. Unfortunately, they are also much more difficult to digest and therefore cause dietary intolerance, but that is not enough for manufacturers to use real meat ingredients. Worst of all is the widespread use of artificial additives in low-quality pet food. Many nutritionists believe that this is just the beginning, and as the months and years go by, and the flow of toxins in the body does not decrease, more worrisome problems can develop. Chronic health problems such as kidney disease, liver failure, heart problems, diabetes, and even cancer have been linked to diet, and studies have shown that an improper diet can shorten your pet's life by several years. 3. The Solution Diet is the source of many of these problems, but it can also be the cure. By getting your dog's diet right, simply by switching to a better quality food, you can give your dog a new lease on life and stop all health problems. Finding a better meal is all about the ingredient list. Manufacturers are legally required to tell you what's in food, and while there are ways in which the truth can be hidden or embellished, it's often easy to spot. The first thing you should look for is the clarity of the labeling. Generic terms such as cereals and meat and animal derivatives which could refer to anything should be avoided. Ingredients should be listed in percentage order so that the first ingredient is the largest and most important part of the food, the second is the next largest, and so on. The main nasties to avoid are artificial additives, preservatives, antioxidants, and dyes, wheat, added salt, and added sugars. There are many resources online to help you find better food. Once you find a good food, it is important to introduce it into the diet slowly mixing it with the previous food for about 5 to 7 days to give the digestive system enough time to adjust. Be careful not to overfeed him and make sure any treats you give him also follow the rules above, your dog will thank you in the long run. Would you like to have more information, videos, consultations, and professional help for your pet? Visit the website below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well, thank you.